You are listening to the I Love Mayapur podcast, Souls in Transit. For years, we've been sharing the vibrant lifestyle of Mayapur through our videos. Now listen to inspiring stories of devotees from around the world. Why do they live as they do? Hear how they overcome challenges and how they practice bhakti in their lives. I think why we started I Love Mayapur is very much different from why we're actually doing it right now. Really? I Not think for so. me. <laughs> Not for me. I mean, I think in, in one way you also, I mean, you must see Krishna's hand or Krishna's plan in this because, you know. Do you, do you think sometimes that our videos are fake or making things better than they actually are? Now we have a little store, we are trying to, you know, sell some stuff which devotees are making, etc. How does this feel with you? Do you feel uncomfortable with this situation especially because we we are a spiritual yeah, channel yes, 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 yes. so uh, yeah yeah hi krishna everybody this is our first uh, i love mayapur podcast um we're here together in our i love mayapur headquarters pradyumna of course is with us and vino prabhu part of our i love mayapur team and the topic we thought for our first podcast is kind of i love mayapur four years in the making, why are we doing what we're doing, right? Yes, 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 that's a, I mean, like I said before, I think it, it's, it, the, why we started this, you know, I think why we started I Love Mahapu is very much different from why we're actually doing it right now. Really? I Not think for so. me. <laughs> Not for <laughs> me. Why? I mean, maybe, maybe you explain, you know, maybe we have to go a little bit back for people who don't know. I don't know actually. <laughs> I don't. So so what happened like when we started? I mean, we can't even go much longer back to the, the, the no, YouTube but, but channel. No, but why? For me, it would be more interesting. Why? Why are you doing it now? Yeah, we come to that. <laughs> but let's 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 roll back a little bit. Okay. I mean, just to give some some context to the whole 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 discussion. I mean, you actually you started the YouTube channel. Uh, you know, uh, started like I think almost like ten years ago. But only with audiobooks. Only I, with audiobooks. I recorded audiobooks. I was not visible, just my voice in German was seen. And then we wanted to show a little bit our life here in Mayapur when we moved here. And Pradyumna was playing around with camera. He somehow got a camera in his hands and then he wanted to shoot stuff. I was excited about filming. He was excited about filming. And I, didn't then know, I didn't know what to film. And, I, and, and we find this life here in Mayapur so exciting and so wonderful being with so many devotees and living here with so many devotees, having this Hare Krishna community around us because we come from a different background and we wanted to share this with our friends and devotees at home and to give them also a glimpse of what is what is, what is here and what we found here. But the, the difference is you, you, we started it to share our videos or our life in Mayapur yeah. with friends and family. This was kind of the idea in the beginning. Yes, yes. Yes. Which, uh, yeah, of course, changed. So, I, I mean, I think a lot of, if you speak to a lot of so, sort of content creators or YouTubers, uh, uh, surprisingly, a lot of them actually start this way. They they are just doing something which they think is super cool or they're really into it. Some passion, some hobby, some lifestyle. And they just want to share it with the world without any plan, without any agenda, without any motive. So, yeah. Okay, yeah, and that changed. Now we have like a yeah, broader audience in mind. Yeah, I mean, I, st I still remember actually when the channel blew up and it was like, it was literally overnight, which, what the, you know, this one video blew up, it got millions of views. We got on one day, I think the maximum was 5,000 subscribers on one time. So we got like in email notifications in the beginning. So like ding, 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 you know, on our phones, like, what is happening, what is happening? And I still remember, you know, I'm, I'm, I was going to Sudevi and say, Sudevi, look at this, what's happening? And she looks, she looks at her phone and says, and I still remember she's saying something like, I'm not sure if I want that. <laughs> so like, I'm not sure if I actually want that. You know, so many, so many people now in our kind of, you know. Which, which video was that? It was uh, Mamana showing the Guru Kul. Uh -huh. It was this video, this blew up. And uh, so, yeah. Yeah, because I usually like my small private circle and just like being watched by so many eyes. I don't know. It felt really like scary. 
<laughs> and, and, and I, for a long time, I didn't want to do English content. That's because mm -hmm. of that, because mm -hmm. of, okay, then everybody can understand what kind of nonsense I may be talking. Yeah, yeah. Just, uh, subtitles were still easier. I mean, it, I mean, it started a little bit because we made the first videos in English, uh, in German. And, and then actually some devotees and some friends from Mayapur actually approached us and said, yeah, I saw your video popping up and it was in German. I couldn't understand. So uh, maybe you could at least make subtitles so that we can... Yeah. So it's actually started. We put some subtitles there and... Uh, I mean, I, to be honest, you know, I kind of secretly, secretly for myself thought or wished, okay, it would be nice if it's, you know... It becomes something big. Becomes something, you know, like more than, you know... But you know, always has his hidden agenda. Yeah, I'm, I'm always having <laughs> hidden agendas and my plans and my master plans in my yeah. mind. And... Uh, Yeah, I mean, if you if you roll back a little bit, just for myself, because um, why actually filming, start film, filming was more that I um, I had this idea of uh, um, creating a business called uh, uh, Govinda Marketplace, where my idea was to get a lot of uh, you know artists and whoever producing things in Mayapur together on one platform, like kind of like an Amazon or eBay for, for the devotees. devotees. Not just for Mayapur, but like worldwide. And I started to make a marketplace and, you know, I got a lot of products and, and different vendors who can sign up and they can put their products on the, on the marketplace and, and sell it. So that's actually for me, it started like this. And then I, I uh, thought about, uh, okay, how to market products. And I went into this and... Which, by the way, I really think is a great idea because it's, it's, idea. it's it's like it was like the idea was like Amazon for devotees. Because when we came here to Mayapur, we saw that there are so many devotees doing so many wonderful products and things. But still, for example, we in Germany, we didn't know about it, that this exists. Or then we learned, okay, someone in America is doing this, someone in South America is doing this. So we, 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 we had this plan, which didn't work out yet. yet. <laughs> to just bring all these uh, creative minds, this, all these creative Krishna conscious products on one place. One place, yeah. Um, one place and then devotees can buy it from there. I think a lot of devotees, like uh, I know personally, especially because I was always involved in, uh, you know, the internet space and the marketing, etc. A lot of devotees came up to me and we had several discussions about this, exactly this kind of a project. So I, I think many, many devotees had this idea and they wanted to do it, but somehow they could not execute. Either they couldn't find the talent or the or the resources yeah, or whatever. Because it's, it's, you, you jump from nothing to worldwide. Yeah. Yeah. This is, I think, the, the main problem. Yeah. This is. <laughs> I mean, just to stay with this topic, I mean, I, I, I had the whole platform actually ready. You know, everything was there, it called Govinda Marketplace. The whole space, the internet space was ready and all the people, some signed up, you know, some friends and new and stuff. So we had some test runs and I think that the technical aspect was working. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, so this this is maybe more the easy part. Okay, yes. set up a platform, set exactly. up the whole system and everything, payments, blah, 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 whatever it belongs to the shop. And, and this was one aspect. But then the next aspect was, okay, First of all, getting people to actually sign up yeah. to find the idea. Let's okay. Yeah. I won't invest no my time and energy into this platform. You know, although I could actually establish my own platform and stuff. So it's you know there was some for me marketing, and then I realized okay, um, customer service was like a, actually the biggest thing, biggest issue to you know customer. You have the customer side plus you have the vendor side right. to kind of sign them up and get the, into this idea. And for me, it was just. Yeah, and sometimes, fun. sometimes like the product was in Russia, the the customer was in America, and then you kind of okay, the product is lost, and you here in Mayapur, and it's like, <laughs> where is it now? Where? And you know, because there was many products from different vendors on one platform, he would maybe order some something stuff from Russia and some stuff from India, and we had to ship this, and he has to ship that to this. So it was it's a complicated. Of course, of course, uh, running a, a global marketplace. Uh, yeah, is, is, and I had like yeah. no experience at all actually in marketing and stuff. So anyways, I thought it was a good idea, but uh, it was. But I mean, in a way, uh, since this came up now, uh, <laughs> yeah. we are, we have, I think, taken a very firm, concrete, good step towards it with our little I Love Mayapur uh, online yeah. store. I mean, it's not a global marketplace. It's not Amazon yet, uh, but it's a good, solid beginning. We know we have a better basis for, for starting, but... 
Very honest, this was not actually the was not my <laughs> it was not the idea of this topic. I mean, we didn't want to make advertisement for a new shop. <laughs> but that that's how that's that's how you got a camera in your hand. To yeah, this is a, and then I, I and then I watched you know okay how to market products and then I, I went into YouTube. I never watched actually much YouTube before. And I started watching YouTubes. I watched uh, tutorials about cameras and stuff. And then I got in contact with some YouTubers, which, you know, they talked about camera, but not only about camera, but also how to, you know. Oh, that like devotee YouTubers or just uh, like, like. No, not, not really there. I mean, I don't know so many devotee yeah, actually, YouTubers yeah. actually. So that kind of, it's just like random people. I mean, random people, you know, who are talk about camera stuff, big names in YouTube, I would say now, which I know, maybe, maybe not many don't know them, but this is like, one is like Peter McKinnon. Mm. He talked about a lot about camera stuff. Then there's Casey Neistat, his vlogging style I liked. And there's this one group called Yes Theory. He was making kind of like a documentary mm. vlogging style kind of thing. Going a lot of, in documentary, which I, the, the, the format I liked a lot to, and I get a lot of, I just got many ideas how to, how to, you know, what kind of style and what kind of mood I want to deliver and also the technical aspect, how to use actually a camera. And this all learned in, you know, the last four years. So That's I amazing, very, actually. I don't know. I was just watched. I learned, I teach myself everything and yeah. learn myself. So I was very inspired to go into videography. So I bought a camera. I was very inspired, but I didn't know what to film. <laughs> so, and then I said, hey, you know, so DV, you're already telling so many stories, you know, so my, may you like to tell the stories in front of the camera, not just in audio, but also with camera. So then we set up the, the camera and she was telling the, the story into the camera. But I felt like, okay. It was bit, too boring. It was a little bit too boring, like to just film on a tripod, a person who is speaking like I don't know, a story from 10 to, not that the stories are boring, this is not what I'm saying, but. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's so it's so difficult to hold people's attention. Yeah, yeah. just, you know, filming is more than just put the camera on a tripod. Yeah. So then I asked, maybe we can move around and you tell the story. So we were like walking, I was walking with the gimbal and she was telling the story. And then I said, maybe I can blend in at the end. I can blend in some pictures of us, you know, doing some stuff in Mayapur. <laughs> yeah, sure. So it, it kind of developed in this. Uh, wow. And yeah. Like, I mean, my point is I never had like full on the idea. Okay, I want to become a YouTuber. I want to, you know, become a filmmaker. I want to make this and this and that. So right. it, I was never in my, you know. Yeah, it just happened organically. It kind of happened organically in, in this way, which is kind of, you know, yeah, interesting. Probably would have done many things differently if I would start, you know, like I want to be a filmmaker, YouTuber would have yes. started also differently. But yeah, this is kind of, yeah, and it's how it's... I mean, I think in, in one way you also, I mean, you must see Krishna's hand or Krishna's plan in this because, you know, uh, like actually if you see, like you said, you, you started organically, spontaneously with no clear idea of exactly why and what you were doing. But slowly, like, uh, I think somehow Krishna led it in this direction, I would say, in a, in a way. Like, what if this video wouldn't have blown up or, I, I mean, I don't know. Like, there are so many ifs and buts, but yeah. In a way, it seems like Krishna kind of led you in this direction. Yes, and also it's like, oh, and also it's like um, pulling it, like, because now we have this broader audience. It's not just our well-wishing friends and family members. It's like, okay, I really need to pray now. Please, Krishna, let me say something useful. Let me say something what is like really touching people's heart, what they really can understand or what they really like is relevant for them or something. I just don't want to talk nonsense because I don't know. If, I mean, we have a very, very, very nice uh, community, I have to say. On our channel, there are really mostly very nice comments. But still, still there is um, a broader audience, not so close than family. So, and in that way, you have to like, or I at least have to like pray and take shelter and like, okay, what is, what is, what can I say which reaches people's hearts? Mm -hmm. Or bring bring them closer to Krishna. Even I don't know them. Even I just talk to a camera. But what? How can how can still be something transported in a Krishna in Krishna's direction? Mm. So. Yeah, I mean, for me, from the like camera perspective, to look, you know, what I want to film actually. 
I never, I never fully like try to present. Okay, this is Krishna consciousness. This is, this is, this is Krishna consciousness. Yeah. You know, I want to explain it now to you. This is how it, you know, how, right. how I think it is, and how I think you should now, you know, perceive it. I, I really try to 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 do with these films without without filter. Show actually the life of devotees, of course, as as much without filter as possible. Of course, you, yeah. you know, you, you don't show everything. You cannot show everything, and who shows his own, you know, life to be. Of course, you know, we, it's, it's, it's a, still is kind of a presentation in some sense, you know. We, we, we want I mean, to this is something you cannot escape. As, lo as soon as you're in front of the camera, a little bit of yeah. performance comes in. F but, but actually, this is one of the things which I really appreciated. And a lot of people I know who watch the channel also appreciate that it's not like preachy. It's not like coming from some high place, oh, we are better than everyone and we know everything and we are telling you now what to do. Because, I mean, one point I, f I really feel like it's, 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 it's not that I feel more like a spiritual than others or feel more this and that than others or something, okay? I, I, I feel somehow lucky that I've gone in contact with it and gone in contact with this knowledge and with my spiritual master and with Shilo Prabhupada and with the books and everything. I feel very fortunate, but I still f see myself, okay, I'm kind of on a path and I, and I, I do feel and think that many f people could, you know, if they, you know, could benefit also from it, from at least from some aspects of it, you know, maybe not from the whole package, you know, you don't have to become, you know, like, yeah. <laughs> you have to, don't have to try now, he's going to shave up and I don't know, move in a temple or whatever, whatever, you know, it's not the point of it, yeah. but yeah, be, yeah, I mean, generally because I saw myself, okay, it helped me a lot, so I, you know, might not, you know, also share it and maybe helps others also. Yeah, and there is no reason to become puffed up also because there are, so many families here in Mayapur who did the same thing. They right. left their country. They like brought their kids here to grow up in this Vaishnava community. And they left maybe more behind than us. They don't have any yeah, family back there or, or something. So um, just they don't take a camera in mm -hmm. the hand and film what they're doing. Or so, but yeah. And, of course, here in Mayapur, you have so much association of much more exalted Vaishnavas mm. that it's like, I mean... <laughs> almost who, almost who, who foolish, foolish to become puffed up, actually. <laughs> <laughs> to be proud of anything. If you, yeah, if you have a lot of good associations, see a lot of very advanced and exalted yeah, personalities, which we can find here in Mayapur, definitely. Not only in Mayapur, I mean... <laughs> in many places, actually. In, but here we live. But especially, I'm, I have to say, especially in India, and I'm not I'm talking only about ISKCON or whatever, you know, when you just walk around, if you walk around Vrindavan or whatever, you see so many exalted personalities, which we can feel, okay, they are, they have dedicated their lives to, you know, to something higher. And yeah. I, I mean, I, I also meant more like, uh, you know, that even, even a, some, some people have this tendency to, to suddenly, even whether they want it or not, whether consciously or subconsciously, they they start kind of talking down or 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 assuming that they have all the answers and they know something and they can tell others what to do or how to live their life. But I I've never seen in any single video, uh, you, you know, any piece of content like you're doing like that. You're just simply sharing what's happening, what you're experiencing, what you're seeing, what you're feeling, and then. Others feel can take what they want from from it, which is a very uh, like a, I I kind of personally very much like this approach. I guess yeah. And now, how you how you how you connect Krishna in your in your service? How you see see in, when you when we make videos and and you know just the whole process and all the project we do. What's your how do you connect to Krishna? Yeah. I mean, during, I mean, um, we make so many different videos. Mm. So the, the process is different. Like before I said, when I start talking, but not in every video, I'm like talking. So I need to pray more, of course, that I say something useful. But um, since we mostly sharing Krishna conscious content, it's always connected to Krishna in some way. It's always like 
Yeah, and and yeah, in many ways, in a very practical sense, also just like lifestyle kind of things. And it's not we're not talking too much about philosophy in the, in general. Like we're not sitting down and explain the philosophy of it. It's more more the lifestyle, how to live it, how 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 does it look practically, you know, in our daily lives and in the lives of other people and stuff like that. How do you see Krishna in your work? How do I see Krishna in my work? I mean, there's, uh, I think there's like moments. Mostly when I, mostly I, mostly I see Krishna actually when I sit on my computer and edit what I filmed. Mm. When I'm doing the process of filming, I'm just like too much camera and framing and stuff. And sometimes um, it's difficult also for me to actually hear you what he actually said in front in the camera or whatever or whoever is in front of the camera. Like to fully connect, okay, what did he actually say? And, you know, it's because there's so much things going on. But when I sit down on a video and edit it, then, yeah, sometimes because you, you look at the footage many times or the conversations many times and then you connect things together. And I mean, I sometimes, and, and sometimes it's difficult to go actually in the flow of editing, but sometimes when I'm in the flow of editing, then sometimes I really feel like, okay, well, he said this and then this happened and I see and then I see this footage comes in and I put this music there and it fits, fits perfectly to the edit and sometimes it's like really you have to say it's it's and then I, I, I you know there comes like a burning this you know passion and like wow and I feel really fired up and sometimes I sit like hours and hours and hours and edit the video so yeah for me this is like the in, in just talking about the, the work itself I think that's for me the most the most precious moments actually editing yeah, the, it can be the most frustrating moments, editing. <laughs> if you don't get it together, like ah, if you have no idea how to start and how to do. But we are once in the flow, then I've, I really feel like if everything fits together nicely in the flow, then I really see like, okay, this. And sometimes it's not, it was not me, you know, it was just, just some the clips just added up like this and the music was like perfectly aligning yeah. to everything. And it was like, okay, this was not me. It was just, you know, just happened in front of me. So... Just for the workflow, of course, of course, when we're outside filming and there's like, you know, uh, nice things happening in front of us, very conscious, Krishna conscious things or whatever people and very inspiring people having, you know, great moments or dancing and, and Kirtan dancing. We had this last video from, from New Year and everyone, because at one point, you know, there's dancing and there's like ecstasy dancing yeah. for example like people don't think anymore they don't care anymore you know who is there you know what how they look what how to look what yeah. camera is looking at me they just don't care anymore they just dance you know because they love it and and there's dancing of okay you know let's dance to the rhythm you know that everything looks good and nice and you know i'm you know so it's there's a there's a big difference so these moments are also very precious and then when you capture this on camera and look later on it, you know, look at it later and then you see, okay, this is, this is like magical moments where I can really see that actually people are hundred percent like genuine, like they don't, they don't play any role anymore. They don't try to pretend anything anymore. They're just hundred percent themselves. They're just having fun. They just love it. And they are fully with them. This, this I call for me is like, it's a very Krishna conscious moments. So I love this kind of moment. This is in a work process. I have a question for this. Do you do you think sometimes that our videos are fake or making things better than they actually are? Because we are we are showing these moments and we're making these yes. moments like big. Yes. But when you come here, you may have when you only see our videos from I love Mayapur and you don't have any experience of Mayapur, and then you come to Iskon mm -hmm. Mayapur, and yes, you yes. have a different i think you 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 see it different then i mean you what well, how's your how is well your i think there's 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 a good point because like there's different perspective how you look and things you can of course maybe you have like a like a flowery really, like imagine okay oh, this is my poem i come in and everything is like and you know people come in and say okay it's it's very crowded it's very loud it's you know it looked Look, things looked much better in the camera as it actually in the reality. And I had people actually yeah. saying this to me, you know, yeah, it's somehow I was imagining my put a little bit differently. So in one sense, you could say yes, you know, we kind of, you know, making things look better than they are. 
but if you look at a, a, a different perspective on a more like higher consciousness, I think even with our camera, we cannot actually really show the essence and the, the spirituality and, the, and, and the, how Krishna is actually involved in this whole place, in this holy dharma, many devotees. We're not even, with no way we can actually capture what is actually there mm -hmm. behind this curtain of, you know, because, you know, it's the holy dharma, you come in and you see like a certain thing, you know, it's like, a, and Krishna may lift this curtain or it doesn't lift the curtain. So if you look at a very Krishna conscious perspective, then... I think there is there is no way that we can actually capture this this Krishna conscious moments and uh... yeah this <laughs> yeah this is a very very good point uh, like like Prabhu said yes in some ways you know okay there's some color grading there's some editing some nice storytelling okay some yes music, some, some music to add to some mood it's not the crazy kirtan yeah. you were actually in it's like the it was smoother yeah. <laughs> but but i fully i i fully agree with uh, with what prabhu said that to capture the spirit of mayapur uh, and to present it is is almost impossible you know we try our best of course but there are so many wonderful devotees here with such wonderful stories. If you just speak to them for for a few minutes, you walk away feeling like, wow, what an inspiring person, what an inspiring story. And you feel something deep inside your heart. And this is almost impossible to communicate via video. So I guess in, in one way, this is what we try to do. And yeah, but but yeah. <laughs> It's, I mean, and, and I have to say, this is, you know, this is, I think this, everyone can experience this also on, the, on themselves, you know, sometimes we are like, when we're not in a good mood and we're in a bad mood and everything, you know, everything looks dark outside, you know, <laughs> like you go out in Mayapur and you're so disturbed yes. with so many things, there's noisy, there's people, and all, you know, all these things yeah. which disturbs you, you know. But when you're in like a good mood and, and, and see actually, you know, new, and actually give, give yourself actually to go into it, you know, you should go into it in, you know. In the, in the darshan, you know, you know, take time with the deities, take time with kirtan and then go to these places where these things are happening. And then you have to be open for it. And I think then the things can happen. And the, this is actually an interesting point, actually, why we called our channel, actually, I Love Mayapur. Because it came when we, when we arrived here in Mayapur, like the first months and, you know, I don't know, maybe a year. <laughs> I know, so Devi always, she went out, you know, to Darshan, to the morning program and whatever. Even to the playground. <laughs> Even to the playground with her kids going on to play with other kids. She come back like shining, mm. like, you know, shining, like, and she was like, I love my pool. <laughs> she was always saying like, I love my pool. I love my pool. Like, I heard it like, you know, so she came up with this name. It was not my idea. It was just my idea. Can we call our channel? I love my <laughs> <laughs> she actually, she was come up with this, uh, with the name and the... Uh, also, as someone who's recently, like, of course, you you have been, uh, you know, making content and running this channel for so long, and I've just recently come in. But going through, like, everything as a still sort of an, like an external observer, uh, I, I think you've done a, a quite a balanced, fair job. It's not like you have somehow made, uh, made Mayapur appear fully like a, some utopia because we there ha, there are videos on the channel about like Mayapur has certain issues some problems uh, you know cleanliness uh, traffic construction etc etc so i think you've done like quite a f balanced fair job of of uh, not misrepresenting Mayapur as something what it is not yeah this is my at least sense from when i see the videos so <laughs> Yeah, I mean, this is sometimes I feel like, okay, yeah, like she said, do we present something which is, which are not, and maybe people are, you know, become disappointed or maybe even feel like cheated from us, you know, ah, you presented my, you know, place in such a way, but actually. No, I just meant these moments are here, which just meant sometimes they may appear bigger in our videos. And when you come here, you have a different perspective and you don't right away can jump into this mood, what we present in our videos. So this is maybe the balance people have to understand some i sometimes i hear like oh yeah i saw your videos i want to move to mayapur I said, come here have a have a look how it really is how it really feels for you it's not don't just move out of nothing <laughs> right. because of our videos 
and also i think w- w- something very interesting again back to what prabhu was saying about editing and looking back at because now i am going through this process you know i am like now filming and little bit helping you in editing and all of that and and i i am going through exactly what you said that when you are filming you are so much caught up into into so many things and then when you look back uh, at the editing table at, at everything that you captured and you get a opportunity to reflect and you see what you captured and it's like almost looking at things from a very fresh eyes and you're like wow that happened you know this was the mood this was the atmosphere like because like you said while you are doing it you are thinking about what is the iso level oh this is you know this is frame rate blah 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 100 things and you're not even like and when you look back at it and also now it's been 5 years since i have been in mayapur but i realize now that how much i was beginning to take things for granted and now when when we have to somehow make some video and go out and look at things from a fresh perspective i'm like wow there are so many things which are so interesting to people which i am just taking for granted and i'm like ah okay this is happening but so i'm i'm again looking at mayapur in fresh eyes just because i'm trying to present it to a, a yeah. larger audience now yeah because if you think more like okay uh, what would be interesting for people outside yeah. what is would be and again like you said some things are not like like too far out you know i mean just a family going to the morning program which is a, like a very normal thing for many people just right. to do it every day you know they go with the with the family to the temple and have darshan and and then they go out and they go home and they go to work again so or you know they have their daily life but for us it's like almost like this is normal this is what we do you know yeah. but for other people actually to see this it's like wow this is <laughs> it's a it's it's a huge thing it just comes in mind um, you know I, i spent some time filming in the gurukul and uh, there were some young boys who were interested in filmmaking and they were like asking like yeah we want to do a film and 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 you know and 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 then this is supposed to be, we have the idea to having like a like you know building up a screen green screen and then film in front of the green screen and and you know make it like really nice and and i said what are you talking about you're in the gurukul look at the gurukul <laughs> yeah. you know this is one of the most beautiful places you know like you know like uh, like huts bamboo huts yeah. with straw huts out of every palm trees <laughs> like you know there's like no electrical cable you can see nowhere because just <laughs> biggest issue when filming i hate <laughs> i hate like electrical cables it's always difficult to film like it's just a very beautiful and i told him you know like just put the camera point it to someone let just the thing do whatever you yes. do on a daily basis like you know you you run around you cook you have in classes just film this you don't need even, even need a voice or anything Nothing. just yeah. just show whatever you have and it's beautiful and people are like blown away what you're doing there because yeah. that's no one that but these kids you know they this is their daily life they live there in a the gurukul they have like no other big perspective for this right. what is outside of their and the thing yeah this is just normal this is how this is how we live but how is it interesting for anyone else like so yeah <laughs> it's an interesting perspective like, no, it's it's actually far out what you how your life is there so yeah like this because you 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 asked this question is it is it important for you that your work is connected to krishna Um, or is it can you would it be also okay for you if you just do a job to maintain us and uh, have your normal daily <coughs> krishna conscious life i i i mean i think it comes down that you have to see value in whatever you do i think if if i would have like a normal ch- job which you know i'm you know which has if we would have like now a film job which has actually nothing to do with mayapur and and, and filming Of course I would do it probably also you know to maintain my family to make some money and you know and I can I can see of course now it shows my life that somehow other it has to be somehow connected with Christian consciousness as li- at least we have to live this kind of lifestyle and I have a job which can finance this kind of lifestyle of course I would also do it you know it's not that I would like it has to be you know I only talk about Christian nothing else I mean, you know, you know. Oh, this is the question. I don't. Know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because so, some, so, but the, but because people are different. For some people, it's not so important as it lo- as long as they like can um, finance their family. They can do the, this. This is their why. This is their. Yeah, I'm yeah. doing this because I support yeah. my family. 
we can live like peaceful and we do in our private life we do our krishna conscious yeah. lifestyle but for some it's yeah, like no, no I, i cannot do this i i need to connect this to my values i need to connect it somehow to my yeah. um belief or, yeah. or, or to my yeah my i think it comes uh, i think it comes really down to okay you have to give value to what whatever you do whatever you do it has to give some value to yourself or to your to your family and then it's and then Yeah, and it's happening on I think on different yeah levels I would say, because you always question yourself why you're doing things you know this is or I mean maybe not always question but I think it's it's part of your journey. Did you always think about yourself why I'm doing actually what I'm doing and you think about have you on the thought process you know because you you have to value it also at one point okay what I'm doing do it actually right do it in the right motivation. You know, maybe should change my motiv motivation, and I think even during the, the course of time, if you do things in a certain way for some time, then uh, yeah, also your your motivation may change also yeah. after some time if you do do certain things for some time. So yeah, I think it's I think it's so. And I mean, uh, now slowly in the mainstream, everyone is talking about the importance of why know like that is uh, the inner circle like the most important fundamental question like why are you doing anything that kind of determines how successful you will be how long will you stick for it will other people appreciate or value it etc etc as long as uh, as you have a very clear and a compelling why people say that everything else can work out but if your why is not clear or uncertain or not deep enough then you know so now everybody is kind of catching up to this yeah thought process <laughs> but i'm i'm guessing your question also leads to maybe people who are like not directly having service or you know have a service or job which is directly connected to krishna i think it's like i said if you have like a you know of course it depends of the job you should not have any job i feel you know which uh, you know create some sinful activities which which I would really recommend everyone don't do it you know which you know so but if you have some normal job and you have a family you want to maintain it to you know to have provide for your family and and of course but then then the next question would be okay what is what is the whole purpose of a family what you know what is the what is the deeper value of your family what do you want to actually uh what is maybe the higher goal of your family what is how what kind of lifestyle you want to live and, and you know what what kind of other values you would like to put into yourself and your children also so that's a different question then okay we can talk more about spirituality also or religion or whatever you know to maybe put this more aspect into your life and then i think then also your job becomes more fulfilling because you see actually it's yes. not just okay i'm just working to feed us and to live and you know what else is life so i me personally i think these questions are very important like in general okay what why i'm doing things you know what, what is the value behind the things i'm doing and what, what is the things i'm actually want to achieve or reach and, and and not in a material sense but also in like a yeah in a sense of of spirituality yeah definitely like if i just think about myself again like i don't have a family to support now and my needs are quite limited so i mean so it's okay but i i was working in the corporate sector also for 6 7 years before kind of giving it all up but now if i reflect on it i cannot i cannot imagine having to go back and do like a regular corporate job which has nothing to do with krishna consciousness and i mean if if i was fully desperate and if i had to that was the only option to maintain my family okay maybe i would do it reluctantly but given a choice I it's different. To be to be honest it's very hard for me to say because I mean I I had one job until I was like 18 was working as a welder like in a metal metal worker very okay. hard job. Uh this was the last job I I mm. did. It was kind of not nice. I was kind of <laughs> I mean I was like 18 19 I wanted to do anyways do something else with my life but my point is now like it's hard for me to say because I never was in a situation actually mm. to I always had this in mind I don't want to work for anyone else I want to work you know for myself was always a big thing for me and yeah do something I really like to do this was always my 
my inspiration. So it's hard for me to say I was never in this situation right. actually. So right. to, that I have to do now any job to kind of maintain my family. I was somehow lucky it never be in this situation. So you. <laughs> Yeah, thanks to you, I could I could also quit. I had this when I uh, finished my studies and I had some jobs like as a speaker and I spoke some commercials and also some... Oh, that's cool. I did not know that. Yeah, but it was so useless. <laughs> like so two sentences, like thousand, thousand, thousand euros, just two sentences for a bank. Shit. Yeah, but this, this is not any more the rates now. It's like... Lower? Going yeah, down? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Oh, because everyone can do it. Huh? Everyone can do it now. In the past you had like, had, had a studio or something, now everyone can probably record it at home. Yeah, but 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 still, it, it felt so, how to say, meaningless. Mm. So meaningless to yes. do it. And then she recorded a really weird audio book. I mean, weird, like... Yeah, like yeah some, some, some audio books which were not, like, uh, f fulfilling at all or... or Some jobs were really nice. Like one time I did like a, uh, when blind people watch a movie, they or they listen to a movie. So everything was just just seen. Um, you have to explain what ah, is happening yes. to the blind people. So this was this was a nice job, and I, I had some some cartoons, but for movie. What how, how is it called? Animated animated movies. animated movies. Then I had to like tell what's happening, and this was fun things but it was rare actually and then mostly it was so just yeah meaningless and and thanks to Pajumna <laughs> I could just say no I don't want to do this without your support would have never <laughs> done it so I I, I I more like to tell Krishna conscious story and really like relate uh, yeah give my energy in this To like to inspire people in, in, in this kind of way. It gives me much more purpose. It gives me so much more fulfilling if I can really like connect the energy, the work I do with, with something Krishna conscious instead of just doing it for the money. Even if I, I mean, I like, I like speaking, I like reading texts, but if, it's, if it is like a text... Yeah. useless and it's, it's still it's not fulfilling for me and, and it's hard to do so I mean unless you guys you want to speak about something else I have I have this question in mind which which I would because we are on the topic of fulfillment and money <laughs> and uh, so so it's like okay or like you said when you started it was just a passion project you were filming yourself putting it out there whatever there was no no commercial agenda no nothing But now slowly when it's like growing big, we have a wider audience. Uh, so a couple of questions. One is like, do you now kind of feel a different pressure to cater to this audience that we now have? That's one question. And second is that now while we as a team, you know, one of the reasons why I also came on board was to try and see if it is possible to make this channel sort of commercially viable that we can make a living out of doing this uh, so do and and now we have a little store we are trying to you know sell some stuff which devotees are making etc how, how does this feel with you do you feel uncomfortable with this situation we also have some comp overwhelmingly the co comments were quite positive but we had f some comments saying oh now why you are Trying to commercialize yeah. it. Yeah. What, what, what is your opinion, feeling? What do you think of, of these things? You like to start? <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, there's, there's now many things I can say about. Um, let's start with, of course, in the beginning, like you said, it was differently and it was not it was not like a main main thing uh, especially because we we are a spiritual yeah, channel yes, 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 yes. so uh, yeah yeah and, <laughs> and, and it, it, it how can like, you make any money out yeah. of spiritual yes. content yes. yes well i mean yes i think there is some conflict there like a inner conflict always i can see it myself to you know first of all it's difficult for me anyways to ask for money you know like can you support me can you and we tried actually we 
when you look at our videos, we we almost never ask actually, please subscribe. You know, or, you know, it's, I don't feel it's weird to ask people. You know, if you, if you like it, then you know you like it, and then subscribe. You know, don't I, I don't need to tell you what to do. You know, and uh, yeah, with donations and yeah, it, it's 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 difficult because it's from it just feels for me like in a conflict. But of course, after some time, after working with I Love My Porn with this YouTube channel. Um, well, first of all, I think it's 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 for me. I still make money outside of this YouTube channel. You know, people who don't know, I go back in the summer to do festivals in Germany. I'm I'm, I'm distributing vegetarian food, in and curry, Thai curry, pakora. We're selling. <laughs> he was there also in the summer, <laughs> which which is also a very nice project. We all together, like many devotees, come together for like one week and we make like a full on marathon, 24 hours a day. We for six days we're selling food and a very. Uh, fun festival with a lot of music <laughs> <laughs> like techno music and stuff <laughs> anyways i've been doing this since many years and this is how i maintain my family so this is this is this is covered and you know which brings him a very good uh, position because in the rest of the year i kind of have the time and the energy to do other things which are not so reliant on money which and and this was always was always there it was always good to you know and you can run i love my poor very nicely without having the pressure okay i have to make now money with it so now the situations ch changed a little bit or changing a little bit in, in one sense, you know, there was like, okay, there was like COVID, for example, there was like two years of no festival. So we had no income for two years. And actually this was exactly the point where I Love My Poo started, uh, blew up, growing up, mm. growing up and, and we actually got some people who supported us, you know, said, yeah, I really like your work. Can I give you, you know, I know this difficult times, blah, 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 can I send the donations? We said, yeah, sure. And actually... Without this support in these two years, we would have, we could have not maintained ourselves, you know, in, in Mayapur, just continuing like this because the whole income was missing. So I kind of realized, okay, I'm, I depend a lot on this festival in Germany, which I don't like. I don't like to depend too much on this. And uh, this is one aspect is the, the, the money aspect. The other aspect was also for me, okay, uh, to, to, to maintain it, to make it like a, um, a sustainable on the long run. I love Mayapur. I has to come on a different level i felt like okay it's, it cannot become it cannot just stay like a hobby passion project for forever forever yeah i feel like okay, it has to also for me to become like okay it's sustainable it's, it sustains itself and you know whoever is working for us can live with it and we can live from it and 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 don't want to be independent on this festival so yes fun, financial independence with this youtube channel became a, became a big thing for me definitely that is a yes i want to you know make this channel in such a way that it you know can sustain us so now anyways we have a lot of talks about how to do this in different ways and and you know and i think some people may a little bit in in you know don't know exactly what's the, the real numbers Actually, not earning a lot, you know, just from the monetization, people think like, okay, you already have 250,000 subscribers, <laughs> yeah. so many views, you must have like thousands, thousands of dollars. It's like, <laughs> no, not really, you know. I mean, just to say the numbers, like we're getting maybe like 300, yeah. maximum $400 a month, just from the advertisement itself. So that's the, from YouTube. That's not a lot. It's not, not, not enough to maintain us. So anyways... My my thinking is okay. We have our original content, which we do. You know, we make these documentaries. We film about Mahapur, and and my mood in the moment is to not like touch it too much. You know, just leave the content what we produce as it is. It's like a you know, it's like it's a fun, you know, nice presentations about Mahapur, about our life, about the life of others, and we don't want to influence it too much. And then we establish like side project. How do we kind of maintain the 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 channel now we have this online shop and we have like a membership program where people can donate monthly and we uh, also tried the yagya which the, we did recently the yagya, the, you know, the yagya that people can donate to yagya get the benefit of the yagya and we you know get some 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 financial support with that so this is there but actually the content we create i don't want to you know like become like too like weird and then you know advertise too many things on, on our videos and like having weird brand deals you know like recently we could have made a brand deal with what was yeah. it like a paint paint, paint company uh, yeah, yeah which i don't know <laughs> <laughs> now you can paint your um, your home and make it make it a temple with this nice color <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> or some tile company. So, you know, yeah. wanted to give some some tiles. Like, I don't know. I mean, maybe we could have done something. With it. <laughs> you can build a beautiful temple with these beautiful tiles. Check it out now. What, what, what's, what's, and what's your, what's your feeling like, Sudevi? Yeah, I understand we need a different solution. I see also, I mean, it's this festival thing is not going forever. It's like... It's yeah. I mean, there's also more to it, just because there's a lot of you know crisis coming or coming up. Everything becomes much more expensive, like all the the, the yes. uh, how do you say the grocery the you know raw materials. Just the raw material, everything becomes more expensive. Gas becomes more expensive. Like everything becomes more. So my the profit margin I'm I'm getting mm. it's going lower, lower, lower. People want much more money, which you know because they need <laughs> money to survive. I have to pay a lot of people. So it's yeah, it's difficult. Yes, so I see also the need, of course, to have a different solution to maintain ourselves. And yeah, why not? Why not um, trying to make this channel kind of what's the right word? Sustainable mm -hmm. or what's the... so? But and but there are like limits for me. I would say like we we still never asking for money. I think this is I I would never like in the end of the video ask. We put it out and we have a shop and we like show, okay, look, we, we have a shop now. But um, it's not, yeah. So, so but, but just to dig a little bit deeper, because this is, uh, and I will also, I will say why I'm digging a little bit deeper on this topic. Uh, so, so I understand that asking for, for donation, asking for charity is always difficult, uh, kind of. And but but at least you are okay, more okay with the idea of 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 having a shop and selling some products. At least that is more comfortable for you. Or even that is like, oh my god, now we are selling stuff. No, no, this is okay. Also, like if I mean, if for example, if I'm doing this storytelling, for example, and then people feel inspired, like okay, I would like to give, I would like to support this. That's okay if there is something like. If it's coming from the heart of the people and they really see, oh, yeah, they're, they're, they're doing a nice job. They can see, okay, it's work behind this. It, they can see it's like, um, it's like they, they, they're giving their lifetime or their work time and they're putting things out to inspire others and it inspired me. I would like to give something back. And then they, that's why we have all this uh, bank information under the videos. If they're inspired, they can, they can do it. But I would not like make a, um, uh, a paywall and you only can see our videos if if it's behind a paywall good idea <laughs> <laughs> so yeah okay so the the reason yes the reason why i'm like just a little bit digging deeper. i mean i think i also changed my opinion a little bit about this in general because i feel like okay I mean, just to look at journalism in general and how like newspaper work and even like how many YouTubers are actually surviving. Okay, and they have like these Patreon, pro you know, programs going on and all the big newspapers and new media outlets. They are sponsored with you know big corporations and stuff. You know, so there's. I think it's a very normal thing also that people, you know, the, like media or journalists or whoever putting out content, content creators, they are surviving actually by either by kind of brand deals, you know, advertising some stuff or they are getting sponsored by some something. So I feel more and more like, yeah, it's a very normal thing to do. And then I feel like, you know, many would be inspired to, to actually give, give the, give their hard earned money to this project. And like, so because in some ways I feel like we, you know, there's, and I feel like the, what we are doing, it has an impact of, of many people's lives and, and in a good way also. So um, I feel like, yeah. Yeah, exactly. So, I mean, the reason is why I'm, I'm like I said, I'm digging deeper is that I'm fairly new to the team and I'm seeing all the hard work that is that goes behind uh, running a YouTube channel, all the expensive equipment that is required, all the software, the time, the, the resources, etc., and uh, you have been doing this for such a long time now. Uh, and and even though, l like you said, that we have like uh, 350 or 1,000 subscribers now and there there's a perception that, oh, you might be making uh, so much money, which is completely not the case, which is like the numbers are shockingly low, in fact. And, and your primary income is outside of YouTube. So 
there are several things to talk about in this particular topic. One is that most people tend to have like a very unhealthy relationship with money. Either they are obsessed with money or they think money is some dirty thing, some bad mm. thing. And both of these attitudes, in my opinion, are unhealthy. Mm. Uh, in in Bhagavad Gita, in Bhakti, we are always taught that balance, the middle path is is the the right path. So, okay, uh, to become obsessed about money and money be earning money and more and more money becoming the goal of life is completely r- wrong, in my opinion. But also at the same time to think, oh my God, to sell something now, to even try to make some money somehow is just bad and unspiritual is also not the right understanding. This is my, this is one thing. Second is, what are the alternatives? Let's say what what is what is better to do something which is completely unrelated to Krishna consciousness, has nothing to do with anything related to our values or philosophy, to do some, some regular job for some company which is selling, I, I don't know. So what is the alternative? So would you rather do something completely else for some uh, the big corporation or whatever else and earn some money through that but how how is that better than yeah. than doing yeah. this because whatever we are making like let's say uh, the the products that we are selling on the shop they are made by devotees you know m- most of them are made by devotees or are devotional products so it's not like we are suddenly selling i don't know some random stuff you know so and in a way if you see it, it is supporting a lot of uh, a lot of devotees who are here in mayapur you know if we are able to to find a market uh, uh, an audience for for them it supports us and it supports them as well so personally i am very clear i don't have this conflict you know uh, in my mind in my heart in my consciousness i am very clear i don't have this uneasiness in me you might call me commercially minded money minded it's okay i, I mean it doesn't affect me. Sneaky, <laughs> sneaky vice <laughs> <laughs> But uh, in my opinion, if devotees can do something which is very, very related to Krishna consciousness, their spirituality, their lifestyle, and which also supports the local community and other devotees uh, and and do it sustainably, it is a much better uh, alternative and a, and a choice than to yeah then to not do it so this is my my at least understanding uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no i'm 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 thinking i'm also at the same page like if it's like really a nice product also like like you said even from devotees here in mayapur or um outside of mayapur and we can support them yeah. and us in the mind you know do do it for men becomes a conflict like you know, this is this is my religion. This is my temple, and and even I have like you know, even in the past we had many discussions. You know, like there's like the runner center in Germany, like a you know, like a Christian conscious tem- a temple yeah. or center, and he's spending like so much time to just keep up the, the 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 temple. And I also said, you know, you should get paid from the temple. And and I remember he was saying, no, no, I don't want to be paid. So let's be selfless and. So we are actually in many ISKCON projects, in, in, you know, with this new project I'm involved in, Maya Pomelos, we have similar discussions also, you know, yeah. because it's like, a, it's just a Kirtan event and, you know, but there's a lot of people who put a lot of work into it and, and, and stuff. So we have these discussions there also. So how do, yeah, I think it's a general. Because even, even, even temples, you know, they have, they sell books, you know, they sell prashadam, you know, it, selling prashadam, selling spiritual books, it sounds a little bit odd, maybe, but but. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it reminds me another one. We had like a pro- program in Vienna. I was very new to Krishna consciousness, and then we had like, and this was a shop, you know, shop on the center in Vienna, and we had a program, and then we were selling like you know samosa and lassi, you know. Right. And then one, there was like one old guy came in. He probably knows Krishna consciousness a long time, and he was like richly freaking out why we now charging money for the right. lassi. He was like, why not giving it for free? Yeah. And Prasadam should always be for free. This, uh, and I was like, we're in a shop, kind of like. <laughs> yeah. and he was People don't mind paying lakhs of rupees for like a smartphone and they will they are willing to purchase everything under the sun. But suddenly when it comes to spirituality, it, the, the idea you be, is... You should be selfless. 
<laughs> yeah. Man, you should you should not charge. Uh, this uh, yeah this uh, I don't agree with this yeah. uh, at all. At least this is my position. You know. Actually, in another sense, you can say this is actually where where the most money should flow into it. Actually, like you yeah. know, into the preaching programs, into temples, right. into maintaining, uh, you know, like sadhus or you know, spiritual minded people. Yeah. And of course, the, uh, everything has to be in a balanced way for sure and. Uh, we know of many, and I also do understand that many, many people are skeptical because in the name of spirituality so and many religion, many people have made a lot of money and done and a lot of scams yeah. and misused the whole. So I completely understand that. But you can't throw the baby out with the bathwater, you know. There has to be some sense of balance and proportion and people should th see things in perspective. I mean, yeah. Sorry, I'm like clearly oh. passionate <laughs> about this uh, yeah. topic. I so. mean... That maybe the audience can see already. <laughs> it's a topic for us, which we, you know, like churning and discussing. Yes, and it's yes, a, it's, of course. It's for us, Isle of Man puts also, it's it's an important topic, how to yes. deal with this kind of thing. And and I mean, there's many ideas and, 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 and things. I mean, we already, we, now we rented this office space here. Now we have Vino now with us, which I'm very happy about. You know, he puts a lot of good energy into it. And, and you know yeah, this costs money you know like you right. know and, and and we have even ideas beyond this you know which we can actually do and yeah and we have been forever talking about starting a whole food distribution prashadam distribution yeah. program if we launch into it whoa we're, we're, yeah. like you know we will yeah. need some resources for that yeah. Maybe this leads to our last question. How, what you, how is your future desires for Alaf Mayapur? How would you, how would you see Alaf Mayapur? What you desire to, What's the to vision? see? <laughs> last question. Okay, now talk another hour. <laughs> well, I. Now, if 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 it's yeah. the topic like okay, I love Mayapur four years in the making, but it doesn't stop here. You have do you have yeah, a do you have a further vision? I mean, I can just say maybe a few things. I think right now we're in a moment of of kind of we kind of restructuring a lot of things. We kind of reevaluating re things. Okay, what is now important? What we because there's like so many things. Okay, we want to have, make videos. We want to create a lot of shorts. We want to establish a shop. We want you know this project, that project. So there's like a lot of things, and and you know we have to kind of I, I'm kind of structurizing a lot. What what's now the best way to move forward? But um, I don't know. I can I can envision things like okay, uh, because now it's, it was always like a tomb, tomb, or like okay, we and our kids, you know, just doing our thing. But I could envision that I, I'm not the only one running around with a camera and making projects. You know, there could be you know another team who's having you know making this project, filming filming this new new uh, happening, and I'm not involved at all. They they're filming, they're editing, and. There's like, like he wants to sneak out. <laughs> this just you know this is <laughs> sneak. I don't want to like be involved in every step of the way. You know and it can't be like a. I see it. I see it. I love Malpo kind of like an uh, something like a media outlet. Not too much into like journalism, but like okay, let's present a lot of nice things in Malpo. Nice people, lifestyle, and um, yeah, and and. I mean, there's some ideas I have in mind which I don't want to speak out now because they're like too too far fetched. But we could work on to make, to yeah, to to present Mayapur in a better way for for visitors to 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 um, for for tourism because Mayapur will will be I mean it's already big but it will grow up like you know and there's a lot of you know ways to to guide people better into Mayapur in, in in some sense of like tourist guidance, but also in a spiritual sense, how to guide people in, okay, what is Mayapur actually about? What's the holy place is about? And, you know, have some some better guidance in this also. So there's some some ideas. And yeah, make it fully financial sustainable, you know, that, that we can actually finance all these projects and ourselves and we don't depend on, on any uh, outside sources. That's definitely, and... Uh, yeah, I don't know how you see it, so Devi. Yeah, I mean, I have like like short term visions. Like, I would really like to do more documentaries about people who live in Mayapur. Yes, this is something I would love to. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. really go into people's lives. Unfortunately, it's not 
it's so easy to bring people in front of the camera that they open the door for you and then you there and then it's like yeah but we are well, we didn't ask so many also we have <laughs> some but we bring it out in the universe and hope that we have more and more chances to do so um this i would really like to do and of course i mean i'm passionate about my storytelling i would really i know it's not such a such a view burner but it's something which really gives me a lot of um uh satisfaction to do and so this is i i regularly want to do like some short periods of storytelling regularly and yeah i would i would really like to further develop also this shop idea that really more people if you have a product you you really i think oh yes you can bring it into our i love mayapur shop and we try to sell it for you and we kind of have a collaboration in this way i i would really like to see this also more flourish that more and more yeah we we work together as we have the platform you have the product and um we can we can bring more devotee products out in this world in this way this are maybe so my my short term short long term visions for all of my poor i would work in this direction and you and you winu uh i i think i mean i it's interesting because i still in some ways i'm like uh, i think from like an outsider's perspective looking in because i'm relatively very new to the ch- to the channel so i f- i see how genuine and how sincere the effort uh, that has been put into i love mayapur i see uh, the more i interact with uh, with the two of you uh, i i i see that actually there there is it's it's full of heart and full of uh, good consciousness and a genuine desire to to serve people and to please guru and krishna and not so much like just how to become big or how to earn money you doing this youtube which is actually what inspires me to put my brains into to making this thing grow now and the the kind of content that you are now we are making is is very inspiring so i would genuinely like to see us making higher and higher quality content genuine heartfelt content which is true to our philosophy uh, not just made to get more and more viewers but to make it in such a way that just by, by our powerful storytelling by by whatever means to by the depth of our research or whatever it it genuinely attracts more people this would something this is something which i would really like to achieve and uh, and for sure i would like to to see a point where we are we are financially sustainable so that we can do it long term uh without any pressure of any sort to uh, yeah any sort of outside pressure we make content that we believe in we sell products that we believe in we fund projects that we believe in genuinely and uh we are able to maintain our lives in mayapur through this uh, through our efforts this is my my vision for i i love mayapur <laughs> wow now we have it on tape <laughs> <laughs> nice yeah which one thing comes in mind that I would like to have more like offline projects going on like yes me too it would be nice to have yeah. something something more going on which we are we are more like directly involved in you know maybe not full on but maybe you know i don't know like i said before like some prasad and distribution or something I don't know to do to to give also more like have a, have a Sunday with the Isle of Mayapur. Yeah, like a, yeah, Kirtan Sun. I don't know once a month a Kirtan event or something. You know something more like first of all like offline like you yes. know, not always camera and computer yes. camera computer something more more um, directly in touch with the people in touch with the people yes. which also of course people film them but <laughs> 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 but uh, and also yeah and maybe have some like more direct impact in the community itself yes. of Mayapur which would be nice not only because now so many people come and you know I just met one one some some Ukrainian devotees actually who left Ukraine to come to Mayapur 
and they were like coming to me like thankfully it's like oh I'm thank you so much for the videos and helped us a lot to actually know about Marapu and come to Marapu and stuff so it's I know I, I, a lot of people gives impact impact also to to come to Marapu, but yeah, to have something on the ground and and be more you know with. Yeah, I mean, in term, uh, like just about impact. I mean, you guys are too humble, so I don't know. Maybe you will not say it, but I, I meet so many people uh, when they find out that I am like you know involved with uh, I love Mayapur. They're like. Oh really? Like you? You are the you are the person. I'm like. Then I have to tell them. I'm. I just recently joined the team, but you know, of course, Pradyumna and Sude. And they're like, we found out about Mayapur through this channel. We decided to move to Mayapur because of this channel or this content. Uh, uh, is feels so good and inspires us in so many ways. Uh, even this uh, this uh, Indian Prabhu who is now uh, you know making burgers in uh, in um, the Mayapur Bazaar. He, so, so many so many examples. That day we were sitting and having thali in uh, seven grains, and this Mataji came. I I don't know who she was. Do you, do you remember? We mm -hmm. were eating and she was kind of a little hesitant. And, but finally she was like, oh, I have to tell you how much your content means to me, etc. So for me, this is like, this. Uh, even when I came and joined the team, you, if you remember, I told you that for me, I've done six, seven years of corporate job. I have traveled the world. I've earned a little bit of money, not a huge bit. But, but now what I'm hungry for is impact, like real positive impact in people's lives. And the reason why I came to I Love Mayapur channel was I saw uh, firsthand how this content is actually impacting people's lives in a positive way. So, yeah, I would just like to do it in a in a greater, bigger scale. And this is what really inspires me about this about this channel. And I see like a lot of potential to to impact people's lives in a in a good way by creating good content, have good quality projects. So, yeah. <laughs> nice. nice. Thank you. Thank you. So, podcast we, finished? We, we, think, huh? we, we came to a... Don't make it too long. We could, we could squeeze out a little bit more. But Are we talking over an hour? So I think uh, we could make, we're making this more regular now. Yeah, let's or there's something maybe. more you like to squeeze out. Oh, it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> if you could, you know, I mean, you can always like hang out and talk. It's, you yeah. can sometimes do it for hours. <laughs> I think it's good to stop here, but maybe, you know, people like to, if they see this, you know, comment below and tell us. What yes. Uh, yeah. W what, what kind of content would you like to see for yeah. example what topics we should discuss what topics should we discuss maybe people can invite people also here who should we invite on 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 the podcast oh but then we need more equipment we because need more <laughs> microphones yeah. we have we have no microphones <laughs> yeah, all microphone. we can we can do that um yeah what what would they what would they like to see what should we do next? Yeah, I mean, some feedback is always yeah, please, very please, please welcome. Comment, and, please give feedback and, and stuff. Helpful. So please, yes, comment what whom you like to see next here with us at the podcast. What content you like to topics. have? What topics you like to have on Isle of Mayapur? And thank you very much for uh, being with us yeah. on our first Isle of Mayapur In podcast Brom episode. To yeah it was no. very was, was very spontaneous spontaneous just and even the topic itself was like <laughs> <laughs> I changed this in the last second <laughs> <laughs> and this was fun thank you very much Hare Krishna Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna.